So in this video, we're going to create a bonus nested shutter window and load it into this family. It's to simply edit your nested family. And then we're going to save this as a new family. So this would be a shutter with only the glass element in place. So a window shutter glass. And let's save this in here. Now what we need to do is uh, we need to go to our front view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this extrusion here, which is our frame. And I'm going to expand this glass extrusion all the way to the outer boundaries. And I'm going to move this to the left here. Now, as soon as you move it using that arrow symbol, you can notice that we have an error here, which is constraints are not satisfied. You can simply remove constraints. So now you can notice that the constraints get removed on this side and you can lock it in place here. Similarly, we need to do the same here as well. So make sure to remove the constraints and then lock it in place. Perfect. So now you can notice that in my 3D view, we simply have a, a simple a glass window here. And it is parametric in nature as well. We can quickly check that as well. So let's adjust, for example, the shutter height. Yeah, it is parametric in nature as well. Now let's save this file and let's load this into our main family. So I'm going to click on load. And I'm going to load this not into our project, but into our main family. And uh, yeah, we can place this in the right view. So you can tap escape and go to the right view here, which is be the exterior view. Now, before I place it in place, what I would like to do is select the nested shutter families here. So for example, the shutter, and I'm going to associate a visibility parameter for these nested shutters. So I'm going to create a new visibility parameter, call this shutter window with frame. We can also add a asterisk symbol here. So this is option number one, shutter window with frame. And let's group it under visibility. Make sure it's a type parameter and click on OK. Similarly, this window here as well. So this would be option number one. Now, before I place my other window here, I would also create some types. So let's go to our family types. So these are the two window types here. Now let's rename these. Let's call this width frame. Here, this one as well so this would also be called as width frame perfect so we have two windows with frame 